So the GoPro Hero 9 specs have been leaked all over the internet and it looks like it's going to be a beast of a 5K camera and it's going to be the best GoPro camera yet. But there are gonna be some things that some older GoPro users are not gonna like. <laughs> Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're gonna to talk about the specifics of all the GoPro Hero 9 has to offer and talk about the good things, the bad things, and let you guys know what to expect and see if this is going to be the camera that you pick up. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the specifics of the GoPro Hero 9 and see how much of an upgrade it is over the GoPro Hero 8. I'll talk about all the specs and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about the one thing that people are really going to hate. Now, one of the biggest changes with the new camera is that they're going to have a front facing screen for whenever you're holding it like in vlog style mode or something like that, which will come in really handy whenever you're wanting to frame up a shot and make sure that you're perfectly center. So that's going to be one of the biggest changes. And the great thing about that screen is it's going to come in color. Now I know in the previous model with the GoPro Hero 8, they had all these different mods that you could buy, these different attachments, and a screen was one of them. So I'm really interested to see how GoPro is changing and, and, and getting away from that particular uh, item that they were going to do, try and sell and upgrade uh, to just putting a camera right on the front. So I'm glad that they are actually doing that, especially since some of their competitors in the action cam industry are already offering this. Another huge upgrade is that the Hero 9 Black will come with a 20 megapixel sensor, which also records in 5K. This will make the video quality of the Hero 9 way better than previous models. But my question is, do we really need 5K? I guess one of the benefits of using a 5K camera would be if you're constantly cropping in and um, maybe trying to get closer whenever you're in editing or in post. That would be pretty much the only reason I think that 5K would come in handy because I think whenever you're making YouTube videos or any type of action type videos, 4K is perfectly fine. Another big change is that the GoPro is upgrading the HyperSmooth 3.0 versus 2.0 from the previous year on the GoPro Hero 8, which makes it pretty much gimbal-like. So this is probably the end of gimbals. Uh, GoPro is aiming for that, and I think it's going to be even better than what it was last year. The GoPro Hero 8 had some great stabilization, and I think that cell phones, action cameras are just getting better and better with the way that they're able to control their stabilization. And I think this GoPro Hero 9 is pretty much going to kill the gimbal. Another upgrade is that the time warp feature is going to be called 3.0 on that. The time warp feature on the previous version was also a 2.0, and it was a pretty cool time-lapse style video where you could be walking uh, in a crowded area where you just kind of be moving fast forward like, um, but I think that it's gonna be really cool to have that even better in a 3.0 stabilization. Now, before we dive into the one thing that former GoPro users are going to absolutely hate, let me talk about a few more of the specifics on the GoPro Hero 9. The GoPro Hero 9 will be a waterproof up to 10 meters. It has voice control, slow motion, data overlays, 1080p live streaming, Super Photo HDR, shoots in RAW, and has a webcam video mode. So here it is. Here's the one thing that's going to make everybody mad if you are a former user of GoPro. The GoPro Hero 9 batteries are going to be bigger Thus, your old GoPro batteries are not going to be able to fit in this new model. So your chargers, everything that you bought before, you're gonna to have to buy all new on that because they made a bigger battery that is supposed to last a little bit longer than the previous versions before. So that's some of the specifics of a new GoPro Hero 9 leaked information and uh, so yeah let me know what do you guys think are you guys angry what do you guys are you excited about the new upgrades um, let me know if you're going to purchase the new gopro hero 9 comment down below and as always thanks for watching this tech video if you like this video go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this go ahead and subscribe to my channel i make tech videos all the time and i'd love to have you back in the next one until then take care